Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of this channel. My name is Pankit Panyat and I'm a first year architecture student. I've just started watercoloring recently and I've been doing it a lot lately and I've been really enjoying it a lot. So in this video, I'll be trying to paint this uh, picture from Japan and hopefully share with you some of the techniques I've learned along the way. I'd like to make it clear that I'm no expert on watercoloring and I'm just sharing with you um, what I've learned so far and hopefully you can follow along and start watercoloring as well. The technique that I'll be using is very loose and careless. Uh, I just want to show you that it's okay to make mistakes and sometimes mistakes can make your overall painting look so much better. I'll be using this watercolor paper. It's very important to keep in mind that your watercolor paper should be at least 300 grams. I have three separate uh, water here, two for dirty water and one for clean water. I also have this watercolor tube and some masking tape to wrap around the edges to give it a nice frame. I also have this mixing palette and some brushes. And also I have this pen with a light H pencil um, to do a quick sketch before watercoloring and also have some tissue paper. Firstly, I'm just roughly outlining the basic structure, trying to keep the proportion as close to the original image as possible. Then I'm using the pen to add more details on the sketch. Notice that I'm not worried too much about making the line straight. In fact, I purposely try to create a rough looking sketch to help create the loose feel to the painting. After the quick sketch, I moved on to the first wash. This is the lightest wash. I started with the sky. You can see that I used the tissue paper to dab out some of the paint to create the cloudy effect and remove the darker areas where I used too much paint. After the first layer is dried, I then added on the darker areas referring back to the original image to create contrast and depth. I was using a premixed palette if you like the color I was using, let me know and I'll do a separate video on that. After adding the darker areas, I used a correction pen to add more highlight to the painting to give it even more contrast and same for the pen. Okay guys, so we have our uh, loose and careless painting here. It's very abstract, I really liked how it turned out. I am making this video for a school project, so if you guys like this kind of video, make sure to leave a like and also a comment. Let me know that you like this kind of content and maybe I'll um, put up more content about more coloring and also um, other content related to art and architecture. Maybe see you guys in the next video. Bye.